Okay, here I have a question for you guys. Let f be a fifth degree polynomial so that f of 0 is equal to 1 and f of 1 is equal to 3 and so on, okay? And notice that we have the x value going from 0 to 5. And our goal is to find out what's the value for f of 6. I will give you guys 6 seconds. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6. All right, do you know the answer? The answer right here is 75, okay? So this is how you can do it. Thankfully, this is just a polynomial. Also, they gave us the value from x equal to 0 to x equal to 5, right? So you can just put out the value of the function. So we have 1, 3, 4, 5, 6, and also 18. And now we just have to find the successive difference. So you see that from here to here, it's just plus 2. From here to here, it's minus 1. Plus 1, I mean. And from here to here, it's plus 1, and then plus 1, and then plus 12. And then you just keep on going. From here to here is minus 1, from here to here is plus 0, and then from here to here is plus 0, from here to here is plus 11, and then keep on going, from here to here is plus 1, plus 0, and then plus 11, and then from here to here is minus 1, and then plus 11, and then you see that from here to here is plus 12. So, how are we going to use these numbers? Well, in fact, we just have to add up all these numbers right here, and we'll just get f of 6. And then if you do this plus this is 30, and then this, 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 that all together, you will end up with 75. Yeah, this is called the difference way to approach it, yeah, because you are finding the successive difference at each level too. If this is a 50 degree polynomial, you'll get constant at the fifth level. So this is the first, second, third, fourth, and fifth. It's like the fifth power derivative of a this is like the fifth part this is like the fifth derivative of a fifth degree polynomial it's a constant similar idea that's it